morning and welcome to 59 Minutes Finding News in Advance. We are coming to you from the town of Andrew today. Just coming here to find out from some of the people that are doing business in the hotel industry on what happened during the pandemic, how they managed to get through it, and why it is that Andrew is a booming town in terms of business, especially in hotels. Now, if you are new in Andrew, there is a new hotel. It's right in the middle of a mall. Also quite aware of because a lot of people come here and can't believe the concept of having a hotel in a mall. We're going to dig into the work, find out what they offer and how they're going around their business, especially in a busy, busy mall setting right at the heart of uh, the town. Join me as we talk to some of the staff and go through the boards of residents of the Air Cartel Hi, so good to tell me your names and uh, what you're doing. Oh, my name is Adebi Doko. I'm from Eka, Nairobi. Now I find myself here in Eldoret, and I can assure you I'm enjoying it very, very much. Yes, I'm enjoying it. Yes, I'm enjoying it. How, how, how many staff do you have here? At the moment, I've got, I'm working on a fraction of my full staff. I've got a maximum 14 staff in the kitchen. That's plus the cleaners. Yes. How, how was the... Uh, uh, has it been possible to like working in a restaurant even during the time of the pandemic? Well, it's been challenging because uh, we have to downscale the staffing, we have to do things differently. COVID has brought itself uh, with itself a lot of changes and we, we are, I'm happy to say that we are adopting and getting there with the, with the, with the new uh, restrictions and all that. And the staff are also understanding it better and they are giving out more than is expected from them. Actually, I've got a very good team here, very young, doing very well at the moment. Yeah. Your kitchen is very clean. Tell us, how do you clean that? Well, the, the, everywhere you go, cleanliness is uh, food. Where there is food, cleanliness comes first, then food second. Now, because of the hygiene aspects, you know, people getting sick and all that. So hygiene is a big priority for us here at Eka Hotel Nairobi. Right from the time we receive the food to the time it gets to the guest table. That's why we have to keep it, maintain the cleanliness 100% daily. We don't compromise on that one. So yeah. tell us, so when somebody makes an order yeah. at uh, the restaurant area, yeah. to the time the food comes out, yeah. what's the process here? Yeah. Well, the food will be posted from the POS in the, in the restaurant. It'll come from the, print, uh, from the printer, which I have in the kitchen as well here. Immediately we'll see, and I normally write the timing that it's come, because it's supposed to take maximum 12 minutes, and you have your main course. We've had challenges, but we are just beginning, and we are trying to reduce that timing. Of course, we've had guests who have waited for 20 minutes, half an hour, but that we're working on to bring it down completely to 12 minutes for your main course, maximum 15 minutes. Yeah, so that, yeah, that's what we're doing at the moment. Yeah. So yeah. here you're, you're, you're working on uh, yeah. the, making the customer experience better. Absolutely. We are trying to keep them in the restaurant, to give them the best we can in the restaurant so that they can always come back and enjoy the food. Right, what gives yeah. you the most joy as a chef? Oh, the, I guess satisfaction. When a guest comes back for the same dish they had last time, they come in again for it. That tells me something good is happening. And it's been happening a lot. We've had uh, situations where our guests have come four or five times. I know for sure sometimes they're testing our consistency. But we, so far, we're up to the game. Yeah, we, what did you say are your, your busiest and toughest moments? Uh, the busiest and toughest moments. Right now, <laughs> Valentine was a nightmare. We, it was overwhelming. We are completely overwhelmed because the guests came in very, very large numbers. It was a very big large number. But that I enjoy it. When it's busy, it's when I enjoy the kitchen most. When it's quiet, it's the most frustrating time for me. When I have to serve a guest, wait for another 50 minutes to an hour before I serve the next one, it's, it's a bit boring. Though we have time to give the best. But I like it when it's, it's challenging, when it's too busy, when it's, everybody's running around. The kitchen looks really, really good. It's really yeah. fun in the kitchen. So, right. so tell me about uh, the, the chefs and what they Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I came here, I got most of the stuff from within the region here. And they're, they're doing very well. They're adopting, they're getting into new worlds. Some of the things they're seeing for the first time. But most of them had some knowledge, which I'm also using, listening to them. I also get their ideas, incorporate them. And uh, then well, that's why my food here is basically Afrofusion. You know, I've taken some continental dishes and I'm uh, using the local ingredients and the foreign spices and coming up with dishes like uh, a chicken envelope is something that I'm just, I've taken, you know, the cheese, 
Retail and cheese, mozzarella, bacon, uh, leeks, and all that, saute, you know, but the chicken on top, a touch of cream, but no, people don't like cream very much. People are eating healthy. So sometimes I don't use cream. And I've got my dish there, and it's actually a big seller here. I've, so I've got really good staff. Some of them are very inexperienced, but that's how you show your power. Train them, make them chefs, give them a chance in life. And that's what I'm doing here right now. So you're yes. not working here with a set of your no, no, no. I, I, I have some in my menu, but uh, mostly I have tried to incorporate the local ingredients. I'm buying from our farmers from here and all that and incorporating them in my menu so that we can support the local farmers as well. So tell me, tell me, for somebody who has not been here, yes. what would you tell them? I tell them, come, yeah, come and experience it. Don't be told about it. Your own experience will bring you back. Because you'll see something probably you've not eaten before, you've not seen it before. And uh, I'm always here, I can always answer your questions if you feel you want to know how that dish was made. I'm happy to show you how to do it. By the way, I am planning a program where I'll be having some top women here every Saturday, teaching them how to cook, because most of them don't have time to cook at home. So we bring that concept here. We'll be today, every Saturday morning, we cook, we cook together with them, and they sit down and eat their own food and then take the experience back home, you know, and that I'm sure will add more value into the family. When mommy who never has time for you, to cook for you, is the house girl who cooks every day, has time to sit down, to ask you to sit down, she prepares some nice dishes that you've never seen before, you know. Of course, it will bring joy in the family, bring the family together. Fabulous. Yeah. As a parting shot, yes. to the young people who are thinking of yeah. becoming chefs, yeah. Yeah. especially the young what yeah. would you tell them? It is tough. It is sometimes hard, but it is rewarding. It is enjoyable once you get used to it. And I can tell you, it takes you places as well. Cooking is an art, cooking is enjoyable, cooking is simply heaven.